Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Poke Trading Gods YouTube video. In today's video, we have a little bit of celebration to do because it's my birthday this weekend, and I'm actually going to be opening, or at least showing off, two birthday gifts in this video. First of all, we have this amazing Sword and Shield booster box. Um, I have yet to open this set, so having an entire booster box of it is pretty dang cool and pretty exciting, in my opinion. A huge shout out to my older brother for sending this to me and letting me open this early, even though it's for my birthday, which is on Sunday. And the second gift you'll be seeing throughout the entirety of this video, it's this amazing Beatles Super Mario Abbey road t-shirt and I, I gotta say I filled out I filled out pretty pretty good but back to the Pokemon cards because that's what this channel is all about um, we're gonna be opening up this booster box today I might split this video into two videos depending on how the pulls go to the first uh, 16 or so packs if they're going pretty good and pretty steady I might just keep it rolling but if we're not getting anything that means the second half of the booster box is gonna be where all the fires at and I'm going to make that its own video so without further ado let's just crack into this box and let's get it open. I'm just gonna put that in the background right there so you guys can see where we're at on the packs. And let's just get right into it. First pack, let's go, baby. So we're hoping for some first pack magic here. Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield. Um, I don't know much about the Pokemon from this set. I don't know much about the good cards. This is my very first time ever opening this set, so I'm excited. I don't have any of these cards. This is all going to be new to me. I think it's one, two, three, four to the front, but I could have done this very wrong. Nope, I did it very right. Excellent. Okay, so let's just get right into it. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos lately. We've been trying to make every video just a little bit better. Ooh, I love the artwork on that score bunny. Check that out, guys. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Pikachu, he's so mad looking. He's charging up. He's about to go Super Saiyan. His power level is over 9,000. Sinesti, Wulu, Shelder, uh, Maractus, re Reverse, and on the end, we have a Stone Journer V. The very first pack, guys. Very first pack. We already are pulling fire. This whole box is going to be just fire. Let's go. All right, so that can live right back there. And let's get into the next pack. We have this Mega Snorlax, VMAX Snorlax here. I love that card. I hope we can find that in this box. That's one of my favorite cards. We already have one copy of it. My little brother got it. He's been opening this set, um, but I have yet to open it. So it's very It's very different when you open your own Pokemon cards versus seeing somebody else's. All right, so we have a Fire Energy. And let's just waste no time. Haunter, Thwacky, Galarian Ponyta, Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, a Sinistee Reverse, and on the end we have a regular Rilla Boom. All right, you know, I'll take it. No big deal. Moving on, we have a Lapras V Max pack. So I was watching Max Mofo earlier today, and he unboxed a brand new set. It's called like Heart something. And in that set, there is a now a new rarity of Pokemon cards for us to hunt for. We have hyper rares, we have ultra rares, we have secret rares, and now we have amazing rares. So that's pretty cool. Stunfisk reverse on the end. We have a hollow Oranguru. Oranguru? Oranguru? Under Ruse! Oh, so in the new set, there's also a shiny full art version of this card that's all gold, and I'll find a picture of it here for you, but it looks amazing. I can't wait till that set comes out. It's going to be coming out in England. In England. It's going to be coming out in English around holiday. It's a holiday set, and there's just over 100 cards in total in the set, so it's not a huge set, but... There are going to be massive chase cards in it with those amazing rares. I know that the Jirachi in that set is already selling for well over $100, which is just insane, especially for a new uh, Japanese set card. All right, Drizzle, Belsharp, Evolution, Muna, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Kingler. And on the end, we have a regular Dreadnought. All right. Let me know what you guys think down below about the uh, the rarity. Do you think that adding another type of rarity is going to make the market better or worse? Because back in the day, with base set, I mean, we had reverses, then we had hollows. Then they started introducing the secret rare hollows. Then they started releasing the gold stars, then the EX cards, then the full art cards. And now we are on amazing rares. Ooh, hollow Inteleon. Let's go. Okay. I like how they did the artwork in this set. After we get through a couple more packs, I'm going to talk about the artwork a little bit more because I just, I love it. Um, two, three, four. One of the reasons why I love Pokemon cards and collecting Pokemon cards is because 
they're just so well done most of the time. Great Ball, Linoon, Rotom Bike, uh, Q Font. Uh, that's just a cute elephant. Is that? Did they say that? Were they like, hey, what's a cute name for an elephant? And they're like, it's a Q Font. It's a Q Font. It's a cute elephant. Chin Chow, Sizzlepede. Ooh, a Galarian Zigzagoon. Look at the sparkles, man. I almost thought this was a shiny variant for a second. That's insane looking. And on the end, wait, I'm oh, sorry, Roselia. And on the end, we have a Chinchino making herself into a little cappuccino. Oh man, Pokemon jokes. They're not the best. All right, so this is a white backed uh, card, which means there should be something good in this pack, at least a hollow. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. That's how it worked in Sun and Moon. I'm not so sure about Sword and Shield. Oh, look at the look at the huge eyes on this Wulu. It just knows that it's a food animal. But we love it anyways. So land it. Ooh. Let's go. It's on the end. A Regirock Rock V. Let's go, baby. That's what Regirock Rock sounds like. Oh my god. I remember back in the day when these guys were all the rage on the uh, Diamond and Pearl era. And you had to get the legendary rock Pokemon. You had Reg Ice, Reggie Rock, Registeel. Regigigas, I think. Oh man, that's kind of when I started getting out of the games. But I do remember getting them and battling with them. Maybe it was Ruby and Sapphire when they first came out. Let me know in the comments down below if you know. Energy, Pokemon Center Lady Seeking, Hitmonchan. Look at him just training with his rival, Hitmonlee, back there in the background. Training Rocky style. Cottony, Score Bunny, Silicobra, Yamper, a Grookey, Reverse Ruio. Oh, God. Reverse Wooloo, and on the end, we have a Galarian Rapidash. I love this card. It looks like Robot Unicorn Attack, man. That game was awesome. I love her, too. <sighs> All right, so we're a couple packs in. Got a couple more to go before we're halfway through the box. I hope you guys are enjoying Sword and Shield. Um, are you guys going to get some of the Darkness of Blaze set? I know that it's hard to find because most of the pre-orders are already selling out, but I'm excited for it. It's something new. It's something different. Um... There's that crazy rare Charizard in it that everyone's talking about. So, ooh, a reverse Rillaboom on the end. We have a Ninetales. Wow. I want the shiny Ninetales from Hidden Fate so bad. That's one of the coolest cards ever. I had a Team Rocket Ninetales. Or, no. Could have been Team Rocket. Blaine. I had a Blaine's Ninetales, I want to say. I got that card. I was at Food Lion, and my mom let me get a pack of Pokemon cards. And it was just a random thing I remember from being a little kid. And I picked it out, and it had a holographic Ninetales in it. So that's uh, a neat little memory right there that was just triggered from that last car. Holy crap, let's go back for a second. Look at this crazy monster of a cat right here, this Galarian Meowth. Ma! Come look at this cat! Ma! Yo, there's a stray cat outside! <laughs> you guys know that meme? Score Bunny. Sinisty, Mancino, Reverse on the end. We have a Musharna? Musharna? What are you? It's, it's some type of psychic Pokemon that's really sleepy. I can't even tell what that is. It's like It looks like a deflating balloon. Right, let me know down below if you know what the heck a Musharna is. That's, that's one of the new ones for me. I will organize out my bulk in just a little bit because I am a master set collector, so I do want to organize this. I need to get some binders really bad. Like I need to get some way of organizing the sets out. Energy, Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher, Yamper, Calabapus, Cottony, Choodle, Rhyhorn, Reverse Thumb. And on the end, we have a Grap, Grap, Grap Locked? Grap Locked. So yeah, we have two V cards, which I'm guessing are worth something, maybe a dollar to three dollars a piece. Um, I know that most of the market right now is focusing on vintage cards and then Hidden Fate still. Shining Legends cards are climbing in value. Uh, that's interesting. Energy Search, Sobble, Pinchurn, Rhyhorn. I thought this said butt plug, you guys. Rhyhorn, Minchino, Quick Ball Reverse. On the end, we have a Delmize V. Let's go, baby. I'm not sure what a Delmize is. A Delmize, it looks kind of like some type of anchor, like a boat anchor, and then a, a steering wheel from the boat, and then a compass. Okay, I'm kind of getting it. Um, I don't understand what this Pokemon is. Maybe you guys can enlighten me, but that is still a V card. I'll take it. I love the artwork on it. It's like, I, if you look at these cards, especially like this Raiju Rock and the Delmize, if you look at them, they've, they've really done a good job of animating motion. That's some crazy good CGI on these cards. And then you get that Stone Journer V, which actually, looking back at it, 
it is um, textured where these two are not. So this one's a little bit different. They're all different. That's so cool. Uh, I can't wait. I, I will do a recap for you guys just because it's hard to keep up with all the pulls when you're doing a booster box. And I think this might end up being one video. I, I'm feeling it, you know. I just want to keep opening them. It's once, uh, once you stop, once you start, it's like Pringles. You can't stop. Rosalia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Salazopede, a Reverse Arcane on the end. We have another non-holographic nine tails okay not too bad i'm not going to complain about the pulls this is my first time opening the set so right now i'm just kind of trying to absorb all of the artwork and learn all the cards in it there's a code card does anybody actually use those code cards i need to know because i want to quit showing them if you guys don't but if you want them i will definitely keep uh keep showing them off energy a raboot uh hop poke gear Goldine, Yamper, there's a couple different artworks. I've seen two artworks for this card already. I'll go back through and find it, but I've seen multiple artworks. A uh, Clobopus, Wooloo, Sudowoodo with a little other Sudowoodo. Aren't they trees? Are they just hanging out with themselves? Like they're hanging out with other trees? What's going on here in this picture? Uh, ooh, and then a hollow bolt on, bolt down, bolto. Look at this right here in the same pack. We got the little, the little, yap, the little yamping family. That's cool. I mean, that's that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. It's a cute little family of dogs right there. The Queen's dogs. That's what a Corgi would look like if a Corgi could grow up, I suppose. It would look like a Balto. That's not a good sign. So it does look like the code... The... the, 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 the this. Okay, so this is what I was explaining in one video. Someone asked me in the comments below what this means. In Sun and Moon, if you get this color code card, your pack was guaranteed to have nothing. No secret rares, no hollows, nothing good. If you had this type of code card, you were guaranteed at least a hollow. So you really wanted to open your pack and see this. It was an amazing feeling. And it looks like that is playing to be true in this set as well. We have a Energy Switch, Dottler, Stunfisk, Goldeen, Rosalia, Joltik, Silicolber, are you silly snake? Oh, it's a silly snake. Bliphug, a reverse hoot hoot, and on the end, you see, we have a Drompa, which kind of looks cool. It looks like the dragon almost from the Never Ending Story or something. Um, but yeah, it looks like that code card, the color coded code card. God, that's a tongue twister. Color coded code card. Uh, is true. So I'm going to do it like this. I want to show you guys the code card like this so we don't give away what's in the pack. So you know if it's something good or bad. You won't know until I get to the end. Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn, Hammer, Rosalia, Choodle, Bliphug, Rhyhorn, Calabopus, a Reverse Cloister, and on the end we have a non-holographic lantern. See? It's a little bit better, right? You, you didn't know what to expect. You didn't know about the, the nasty dark green code card. Bruh. I just completely messed that up. Uh, I forgot my own rule. I just created this system and already messed it up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Energy, Big Charm, The Wacky, Poke Gear 3.0, Crow Gunk, a Silly Snake, Minchino. Oh, that's a cute little Vulpix. I like that artwork a lot. I like that. I haven't seen her yet. That's really cool. Uh, Muna, Reverse Diglin on the end. We have a Mudsdale, which is just a muddy Clydesdale, which is just a big horse. If you guys don't know what a Clydesdale is, it's like those big horses that pull the Budweiser wagon for those commercials. You might maybe look at that. That's a good omen. Maybe you guys have seen the Budweiser commercials before and you know what I'm talking about. I'll find a picture of a Clydesdale right here just so I completely messed this up, you guys. You can dislike this video now. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, we have a Rhyperior, Energy, Pad, Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Score Bunny, a Nicket, Chin Chow, Diglitz, Pharisee, Score Bunny, and that's it for that pack. Okay, so we are officially halfway through the box. And we only pulled three pulls, and I've only been recording for about 13 minutes. So we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to keep going for it. I'm actually not going to stop until I get through this whole box. This was my birthday, so, you know, it's always amazing getting free Pokemon cards, getting cards as a gift. And if you have somebody that likes Pokemon and you don't know what to get them, just get them a booster box or something. They're going to love opening it regardless. I just, I love opening Pokemon cards. It's not just chasing for the rares and for the pulls. It's building that collection. Check this out. We had the Hitmon Lee, and he's he's fighting off against his rival, the Hitmon Chan back there. Salazzle, Metal Saucer, Clavopus, Goldeen, Rosalia, Ghastly. Haven't seen him yet. A Ponyard, Reverse Cinderace. And on the end, we have another Musharna. God, I just really don't understand what this Pokemon is supposed to be. Uh, let me read this little entry right here. It drowses and dreams all the time it's best to leave it be if it's just woken up as a terrible grump when freshly roused from sleep 
Interesting. Can you guys read that down there? Probably not, but that's what I just read. They have like the little Pokedex entry subtext on these cards sometimes. Uh, I, I, st I don't understand what that Pokemon's supposed to be. I do know that since I stopped playing Pokemon, they kind of went off the rails in the games. There was sword Pokemon, there was a toaster, there was ice cream. There was all kinds of crazy stuff in the game. The creators, you know, they ran out of bugs. Ooh, an ore beetle. We don't have him yet. And on the end, we have a Rosa Raid. I'm about ready to make her in Pokemon Go. Um, I'm waiting for the shiny Rosalia before I make one. That's just kind of cool. But yeah, I remember I quit playing the games around the Diamond and Pearl era. It was probably the last game that I actually booted up and started playing through. So it got a little ridiculous. Uh, four. Just four. It got a little ridiculous in the types of Pokemon that were invented. Hyper Potion, Yell Grunt, Muna, Roselia, Choodle, Blypug, Rhyhorn, Linoon, and on the end we have the Snorlax VMAX Rainbow Rare. Let's go. This is literally the card I said I wanted. There's That's what it looks like on the pack art, and that's the very next pack we're opening. But God, I love this card so much. I think it has some value to it. It's textured. It is a secret rare version. It's the Gigantamax involves some Snorlax V. So if you're playing the card game, can you play a Snorlax, then a Snorlax V, and then a Snorlax V Max on top of that? That's insanity. Look at the rainbowing, all the detail on it. That's such a beautiful card. They've really outdone themselves. This is one of my favorite cards. It's super glittery and kind of textured, and the glitter has its own special texture to it. That I don't know how well that's showing up, that's translating on camera, but that is one of the coolest artworks I've ever seen. I am very, very excited. God, this is a great birthday box opening. Uh, we have so many pulls already, and we still have so many packs left to go. I don't even care about the color of that code card right there. You know, I told you guys that means there's not going to be anything good in this pack, but we're still going to go. A drizzle. Why does Snoop... Hey, do you guys know why Snoop Dogg always carries an umbrella? For the drizzle! Okay. Salazzle, Pharaoh Seed, Goldeen, Rosalia, Joltik, Silicobra, Reverse Palpat on the end, and Inteleon. So we got a Drizzle and Inteleon in the same pack. All right, so I got to clear off some space here now. We're running, we have too much trash. Let's get into this Lapras pack. Is Lapras V in the game? In the, in the game. In this set, I'm assuming so since she's on the pack card. I would love to pull a Lapras V. That's one of my favorite looking cards. I have seen the pack art for it, so I'm assuming it's the same as the card. That's just, it's, it would be such a cool card to have. A reverse energy on the end, a Stone Jorner. Stone Jorner? It's, there's no E in the name. Stone Jorner? Like Melnir? How, how do you pronounce this card? What are you? Anyways, Sword and Shield, we have one of the doggos. I always forget which one's which because I, I only watch my little brother play through the game. I haven't booted up my own file and actually played it myself. I played a lot of the battles and I did a lot of the catching of the Pokemon, but that's it. Uh, Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher, Ponyard, Scorebunny, Nickit, uh, Chinchow, Diglett, Rhyhorn, Reverse, and on the end, a Clay Doll. That is some ridiculous looking artwork. That looks like some crazy abstract art. There's some creepy people back there. I don't really know how to describe my emotions for this card. Not the best. I don't really like it. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Clay Doll's a freaky Pokemon, man. Ooh, look at that color of that code card. All right, so I got to start hiding the code cards. I keep forgetting. Energy. Energy Search. Quick Ball. This guy. Hoot Hoot. Score Bunny. Pikachu. Sinistee. Wooloo. Joltik. And on the end, we have an Anaconda. I'm sorry. That's a Sandaconda. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon's getting a little ridiculous on their names. I think for this set, for this game, they were like, let's just make every Pokemon's name hard to say, and that'll make it seem new. Like, we'll just take all the same Pokemon we've been making, we'll change the color up a little bit, and we'll give them a really hard to pronounce name. That'll get the fans riled up. I'm pretty sure that that's exactly how a meeting at Pokemon headquarters went. Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray... Sobble, and on the end, we have another Delmize V. Let's go, baby. The pulls are there. The pulls are there. Uh, this pack does not disappoint. This set does not disappoint. I actually really, really like a lot of it. Now that we're down to the last couple of packs, I'm going to get rid of this box. Uh, now we're down to the last couple of packs here. I'm going to start taking some time and talking about the different packs, the different Pokemon that I do like, what I don't like, just because there's no reason we can't take our time here, spend some time together, guys. 
and uh, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe if you are new here for more videos because guess what? The birthday shenanigans are not over. We have secured a heavy base set. Let's go Lepers VMAX! I was just talking about this card! Where's the... Do I, yes, look at that. That is a, a mirror image. I just said how much I wanted this card and look, I pulled it. Maybe that's all you have to say. Just say you want it and, and you'll get it. That's so cool. Anyways, um, we have secured a base set booster pack. Now, I know that those booster packs are ridiculously expensive. We actually won it in a raffle on Instagram. So the buy-in was a fraction of the cost. But obviously, if you don't win, what am I doing? What am I? I'm all distracted talking about my birthday. You know what? We're just going to go through this pack this way. I saw something shiny. Uh, okay, let's do it the right way. I'm all messed up, guys. Energy, Heatmore, Drizzle, Rod, Chinchow, Krabby, Mancino, Ponyta, Cottony, Reverse, Big Charm, and on the end, a Caldo V. Let's go! We're getting pull after pull after pull. I knew the second half of the booster box was going to be fire. Oh, man, maybe I should save this for a second video, make you guys wait to see if we can get a gold card. There is a code card. And then let's do it like this, two, three, four. We're going to do it right this time. But anyways, we have a heavy base set booster pack. And the way we got it is you buy a spot on a raffle. And if you lose, obviously you lose all the money. But if you win, you get a, a booster pack for a fraction of the price. So it's a pretty cool little way to gamble if you like gambling. I don't recommend gambling without parental consent or at least being 18. Uh, especially since, you know, if you're, uh, if you're underage, you have to use your parents' money. Just make sure you understand the risk going in. There's a ton to lose. So and it's also very addicting to try to, to win base set packs and other vintage packs because the way it works is someone typically on Instagram will sell like 10 spots at $60 a spot for one booster pack. So if you win, you could potentially get a booster pack for $60, which sounds expensive for a booster pack of cards, but when they're going for six to $800 a booster pack, that is such a good deal. And we actually won one. So let's go, it's on the end, a hollow frost moth. All right, not too bad. So, sword and shield. Let's just turn this up a little bit. Sword and Shield, the doggy with the sword. That's the danger doggo. You have the, the safety doggo which, with the shield and the danger doggo with the sword. Dang, I keep forgetting about the code card that keep getting in my way. All right, so energy, Dugdrio, switch, retrieval, hootoot, a pin churn. That looks interesting. Volpix, Nickets, ball toy, rapid dash, reverse, and on the end, we have a grap lock, grap locked. A grap locked. That looks just horrendous. That looks like an obese Lucho wrestler or something. That just that's not a good artwork. I don't like this Pokemon. I don't like anything that's happening right here, guys, at all. Oh my goodness. Do you see how sweaty I am on this camera? I don't know if you can tell because this is just a webcam, but look how sweaty. My face is just drenched in sweat. It's all red. It's it's because it's like 300 degrees in my office where I where I'm sitting here opening these Pokemon cards. It's like at least 100 degrees right now. And uh, I have to turn the fan off while I record. So I'm just, I'm honestly going to die. I keep forgetting about the code card. One, two, three, four. So if I pass out, please send help, you guys. Hitmonchan, Linoon, Sea King, Sinistee, Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian, Meowth, Salazapede, Reverse, Bisharp, and on the end, a Lantern. That artwork looks awfully familiar. That might be a reprint artwork, but it's still a cool card. I mean, I like it. It's not it's not rare or anything, but it's it's a cool card. I think that it is a it's it's listed as a rare, but it's not a rare card. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Let's do this the right way. So you start by doing this. Giving you guys the code card without revealing the color on the back. And then we do this. There's a lot to this. Opening Pokémon packs gets kind of complicated. Thwacky, Lucky Egg, Dubwool, that's the first dubstep we've gotten. Rhyhorn, Ruckady, Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray, Reverse Trainer, and on the end we have a Sentus Scorch. And also, it helps me out if I don't know what's going to be in the pack to have a better reaction and to be more genuine. Because if I see that dark green code card, I'm just going to try and burn through the pack and get to the next one looking for those hyper rares. Because that's really what you guys come here to see, right? It's the hyper rares. Everybody knows what's in the set, so you know I have potential to get that golden doggo, either one of them. 
my friend actually pulled two golden dogs from one booster box, which is just insanely good luck. Potion, Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Meowth, Scorbunny, Reverse, this guy, and on the end, we have a Snorlax. So there is a Snorlax, a Snorlax V, and a Snorlax V Max, or no, this, a Snorlax, where are you? Yeah, V Max. Because it says right here, evolves from Snorlax V. So yeah, I guess that's how it would work in the game. You would play this, then the Snorlax V, and then the Snorlax V Max, which is the Gigantamax version. Interesting. I do really appreciate the artwork on the Snorlax. It reminds me of when you're playing Pokemon Snap, and you wake him up with a Poke Flute, and you throw an apple at him, and he'll eat it. It looks really cool. I like that a lot. It's very pretty. And we have two packs left. We have a Snorlax pack and a Danger Doggo pack. Wish me luck. Oh, man. I'm like, I don't want to say I'm glad it's over, but I'm glad to be able to go get some freaking AC. Look at that. I messed up, but it doesn't even matter. That's a good code. <sighs> All right, guys. Wish me luck. Rotom Bike, Big Charm, Sea King, Slizzipede, Yamper, a Calabapus, Cottony, Choodle, Reverse Shelter, and on the end, we have an Oranguru Holographic. Okay, not... Not the best, but you know, I'll take it. And let's go final pack. I'm gonna make sure I do this one right. I don't wanna know what's in it. I don't care. I had a great time opening these packs and I built most of the setup. I have to have most of the commons and uncommons from these packs. So I am good with that. There is a code card. Let's go one, two, three, four to the fronts. I saw a black border. That's not the card I wanted, but I saw a black border. So let's go. Let's get there. Vitality Band, Raboot, Sudowoodo, Wulu, Sobble, that guy, the other guy that I don't like to pronounce. Score by reverse on the end. A Cramorant V. Look at that. A Cramorant. That's some type of weird British bird, I'm assuming. It looks kind of like a pelican, but you know, that's really freaking cool. It's got these gigantic, scared, frantic looking eyes. The artwork in this set is very very different than any other set this kind of reminds me of when they first started getting into like the e-series cards and they did everything cgi it kind of reminds me of that so let's get right into a recap so i can end this video and tell you guys to have a great night you know all the good stuff cramorants this amazing snorlax v max a stalin journer v a keldo v lapras v max delmise regirock delmise and that's it so the pulls in this set seem like they might be a little bit rarer than other sets, which is good because it makes you hunt for it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite card from Sword and Shield base set is. And also let me know what sets I should be looking for in the near future because I, I'm still looking through Burning Shadows and Hidden Fates for the Shining Charizard and for the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Of course, we're going to be on the quest for Charizard until we find them. But let me know what other sets have great chase cards in them and what you guys would like to see down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. We'll see you all in the next video.